Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This video is not going to be very long. I just wanted to touch base on a subject that I felt like I needed to cover on Chuckster Chat. I'm actually very disappointed now. I know there's a lot more bigger issues going around right now, especially with bankruptcy and trying to get the stores back open in general. But this is very unfortunate what happened. So for those of you that don't know, before the entire coronavirus shutdown had forced Chuck E. Cheese to close all of their doors, they had sent out every single one of their stores a package for a promotion that they were going to be doing. The contents of this package included a 5 foot tall cardboard cutout Chuck E. Cheese standee and a backdrop with the 2.0 logo and underneath it having the font saying, Entertainment is our middle name. All stores were told to basically just put this away until we need the promotion to be used which probably would have been right about now well what people probably don't know is that this promotion would have likely been a Spotify promotion to tell the public about Munch's make-believe band and their music I know right it's crazy a promotion in 2020 that revolves around the characters in the shows what we never get this so that's why it would have been really refreshing that's why I say it would have been a game-changer but Unfortunately, we, we all know that promotion never came to be. And yes, you can still listen to their songs on Spotify, but it's the fact that they were going to promote it in stores and probably on their YouTube channel as well, get the word out to people, get even more people listening to it. Because let's be honest, the only people that even know Chuck E. Cheese have a Spotify is Chuck E. Cheese fans. But this would have been a way to get the word out to other people and possibly create more fans and just get Munch's Make Believe band music into the homes of families and children. You know, it's crazy to me. I find it weird. We were supposed to get a promotion dealing with the actual characters in the show. Not only that, but we were also supposed to have birthday extravaganza return. And a global pandemic comes and ruins everything all of that now about the birthday show i don't know if that's gonna be completely canceled or not i think it's just being pushed back till now i'm pretty sure they're making a version two of the current birthday show just with chucky on screen or whatever it's sad it's sad that the birthday show is being pushed back it's sad that this promotion is likely canceled and probably will never come back because when are they gonna have the money to spend on these characters again when it's not making them any profits which is very unfortunate i really like the standy chucky because honestly he just looks so cute please don't ask how i got this please and the reason i even brought this up and how i know it would have been a spotify promotion because if you look on their Spotify, you can actually see the same exact image of Chucky. And I've seen a lot of CGI poses of Chucky. This image did not exist before this promotion was supposed to set place. So it's really sad. I hope we could possibly maybe see it again in the future. I don't know. As of right now, the standees that are in good condition are still in the stores. And that's going to basically fill in for the walk around Chucky so kids can still technically get pictures with Chucky on their visits. The way this entire promotion was set up, I kind of wish that there were cardboard cutouts of the rest of the characters because it feels like they're on a red carpet in front of like this giant screen that has their logo plastered all over it. Like they're a band, finally a promotion that presents them in that way. But you can thank the Batman virus for that because it's not gonna happen anymore. When the stores were shut down, instead of keeping them away, I'm pretty sure stores realized that this promotion wasn't going to be happening. They took out the standees and the backdrops and they used that to present their little tables to get people out in the public and foot traffic can know that their stores open well the stores that still have those and kept them away are able to have those out the ones that didn't listen to those rules and the ones that are kind of like damaged from being out in the elements they got to throw those away and so it's even weirder working in a 2.0 store with no bot no standy chucky the only way for a kid to actually get a picture with chucky is with the photo ride car but anyways i want to hear your guys's opinions on this how would have you guys have felt if we actually would have gotten a Chuck E. Cheese Munch's Make Believe Band Spotify promotion in store? How do you guys feel on the birthday show being pushed back a bit? Let me know about everything. You guys have another topic idea? Let me know down in the comments. Until then, until then, thanks for watching Chuckster Chat. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.